All right, Justin, we are going straight to live, buddy. Ooh. Straight All to right. live. Look at that light. What are you doing? Oh, you got to shave here. There you go. All right. All right, Justin, Dave, we are live. We're doing a little watch along. Uh, we're going to go back to the Willie Cologne days. Uh, as always, I don't know if you guys were a part of the one last time. We uh, Mark Moroso episode was the first one we ever did. Kirk said it went okay, right, Justin? You were in the chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he said you did a half job. job. Yeah. Any uh, any input before we go for number two here? Any input on changes from last time? Anything? I'm gonna I'm gonna um, open up a Google Voice line, so you'll see the number. I'll change the image, and you'll see a number as we're watching along. Kind of go in and out. If you call in and we miss it, just let us know in the chat. And we'll uh, and we'll get you on. So don't worry. But it's one of those things where one caller at a time. I think you use it for other shows, Justin. You'll hear the ringing every now and then, and it could be annoying. But we will uh, we'll monitor the chat. We'll get it going. Uh, we're gonna do like I said, Willie Cologne. This is going back two years ago. And what we did. Thank you to Justin for putting this together. Uh, we put uh, the CCK uh, episode, kind of portions of that, and then paired that with the KMS episode. So we got a good. What we got? Forty minutes to go here. Forty minutes. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I think. Hold on, let me put the echo. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, because I just used it. There we go. There you go. You good now? You'll be good in two seconds. Let me test. Just this. Hey. All right. Um, yeah, so we got 40 minutes. Willie Cologne. Everybody, I see the chat kind of filling up a little bit to some extent. Oh, Tim Riggles. Let's see. Goldie here. A lot of people. Tom, as always, PGA. So good morning, everybody. We'll get it started. You ready, Justin? I'm ready. All right. Okay. Now I'm I don't even We're know what's back. happening. Yeah. Holy Hour shit. number two. Yikes. Extremely uncomfortable room right now. So I tried to find the uh, the yak sound. There's a crowd forming outside. Willie Cologne is in the building. How are there not Minahan stool seats? Cameras still in here. joining here. How are there not stool seats? Cameras. Willie Will, is making sure he's sitting as close as you know, he humanly many, can you know, to Kirk. I got suspended a couple of years Beat ago. Beat up on the desk size 23s. We're almost, we're almost getting into a fight with Christian Foray and WEI. Like, yeah. my record against former NFL players is undefeated. Mm -hmm. I'm happy to challenge at any time. There's nobody in this room whose ass I won't kick if they get in my face. <laughs> now, you say that, but that's because you just know you know really can kick your ass. I don't know that. A lot of talk. So, so on a on on the AMA today. Uh oh, <laughs> oh you kicked my ass. Will, <laughs> oh my yeah. god. So Willie, uh, uh, well, I, I don't even, I, so I don't even know him. So you know, I called in and I said on the AMA thing, they asked me about the their, their show I called into, and I said I felt bad for them because they didn't know who I was, and it was this weird situation. And it felt a little awkward. Even today, I said hi to the other guys. It felt awkward. That's all. Not yeah. the end of the world. I'm used to it. My life is like that. Mm -hmm. But it just feels awkward. Because no. because why? Because, I mean, you used to host a morning radio show. I have no idea why. Maybe By the way, maybe I'm completely wrong. 100% wrong. Is that to say hello? Yes, I'm very sensitive <laughs> like that. Oh my god! Uh, <laughs> this is like a sharing. boxing Willie, promo. They have the option <laughs> for two mics, but Willie is it, is which is totally for one fine. Mic, it it looks like a boxing promo poster. Now in your AMA, right now. exactly what happened? Somebody. I am so uncomfortable. The question was what? Uh, the morning show. <laughs> as what Willie takes a sip from from Kirk's water. The question was like, uh, could you, you know, what what exactly? What was the question that prompted this response? When in the AMA? Yes. Yeah. Somebody said how awkward was the thing. Right. And, and the, so what you just said is what the answer you gave. You just said it was a little awkward. Yeah. I said. But, I said. And then, but then you said uh, I could make two phone calls and have this radio show be mine by tomorrow. I think right? I said that in the Yak Show earlier. Okay. No, I'm not going so to. These all... are people with families and jobs. I'm. I'm, I'm nothing if not sympathetic to people. I don't care about the quality of their show, no matter how poor it may be. I'm still going to be there. You know, I'm a team. I'm Do a you team want me to player. read the quote, Kirk? Yes, read the uh, Willie Cologne fucking hates me. I Correct. don't know why he hates me. Yes. I suspect there is some territorial element about it. Yes. Whereas if I wanted, I By could way, have this, that this... fucking show tomorrow. I don't want it. But if I place two phone calls, they'll be on the fucking street. Two calls. One, two. Now, are you just is this just. So let's pause it right there for one second. And this mm -hmm. was this was a debate the next day when I was in there. I, I mean, you can even hear Carabas laughing, by the way, that the numbers over my face here. But you can hear Carabas in the background laughing as he says it, which you can get the vibe. Kirk is fucking around. Now, there is an element of truth to it. Uh, you know, insane to think that a guy who pulled crazy ratings in a major market could take the show of a guy who's never hosted radio before he got the bar stool and was a professional athlete. That seems that doesn't seem unreasonable to me. Very. Yeah. I mean, very true. Yeah. Uh, I, I think, I, I mean, I think Kirk was just saying like, yeah, I think he would fit perfectly in the morning serious radio spot. Oh, so you want to ask him in, in the AMA or I believe it might've been on the yak. I was trying to find a sound, but you can't find old yak sound from, from this time. So, 
Uh, so yeah, someone asked him that and he was just like, yeah, it would take two phone calls and I could have Willie Colon's job. And he fucking freaked out. Over two this. calls is one of that's one of the greatest all time. I think I put that in the tweet, like two calls versus suck. Two calls. Like two, two great memorable moments that are about, we'll keep playing, but I do see that the chat filling up. Nothing crazy here. If you're getting, if you're just logging in now, I see Terry new to the show. It seems like, so this is a, we're playing CCK at the moment, just so you know. And then we'll dive back into uh, the KMS kind of reaction so, of it. Yep. So we won't hear Willie Colon. See, that that's the thing. We won't hear him for like another good 20 minutes because he just sits down and just like stares at Kirk. Yeah. If you want to set the scene, it's Kirk who was the guest on CCK. He's talking about the MMA. And then Willie Colon just sits there. And it was so strange. And, you know, and then he played, well, we'll get into it. But then he plays the whole, like, we got to save it for the show card. Whereas, like, I don't know, it was just madness. But we'll get back into it here. We'll ba- jump it back into the CCK episode. Oh, you backwash? Part of your. Are you backwash? Are you backwash? Are you backwash? Just say yes or no right now. Tell me the truth. Ring, ring. Two phone calls. Ring, ring. Yeah, Dave, get these fucking guys out of here. Can happen in two seconds, but I'm, but I'm a benevolent guy. I'm sharing water with you. <laughs> this this is uh this is you can't be the guy who takes all the water. That's a <laughs> that's a now you're out of water. What are you saying? Now this is uh by design. You want it? You wanted to stir the pot like this? Oh, I just figured some people, as I've learned, are totally sensitive and can't handle it. I mm. think we know who those people are. Will, Willie's struggling. He's like, I'm I'm good to go. By the way, he's way more entertaining than this. Than he's on the air. It's better when he doesn't say something. Not a bad comeback. Think of some more. You're on a roll right now. No, oh, slow down. So I'm about to. Oh, I've never laughed so hard in my I'm life. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. The show that you hate. What's that? You gonna be there tomorrow? Well, I'm leaving today, but I'll call in if you want me to. I'm happy to call in. I call in tomorrow. Absolutely, no problem. Okay, great. <laughs> you can hang out as long. It doesn't bother me. My, absolutely, this is your this is your studio. Eight three three eight five seven. Okay, say, it's your studio. For now. For now. <laughs> oh, For now. Kirk. <laughs> Willie, what uh what are your thoughts on this whole what's that? Just yeah. okay. All right. Yeah. So whatever he is. <laughs> I'm, so I, I, I'm still wondering why why you interpret it as awkward. Oh right. Absolutely could be totally I could be totally wrong. Like so I, I just felt like and I totally get it because I'm in this business too, but it felt like there was some anger. Mm-hmm. toward that now obviously clearly i was wrong and i'll apologize no. so clearly there's no issues at all I mean, yeah. everything seems fine but yeah no 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 big deal so kirk i have a question for you Go ahead. Uh, uh with willie and large are you targeting them because uh, no. of their time slot absolutely or is not be- targeting them at all Stop are you it. largest to, don't, are you don't, largest are you, okay. no, are you i want these large, guys fellas? i want these guys to do the show as long as possible yeah. i like doing my podcast when dave and erica said to me hey listen <laughs> we got a real problem in the mornings <laughs> <laughs> I said, guys, guys, give him a chance, would you? I know it's rough, but let's get through this together. And they said, Kirk, please, Jesus, Kirk, please take over mornings. I said, guys, they have families. I can't do that to them. And again, they would say over and over, have you heard them? I'm like, yes, it's a terrible, is it the worst radio I've ever heard? Yeah, but we'll get, <laughs> but we'll get past it. And I think we have. It's gotten better since I've gotten here. So very quickly, Willie, say thank you, Kirk, for making me step up my, my role and become a better radio personality. I will say you're welcome, and then you're going to get me the rest of my water, and then you're going to let me drink it. Ah, I didn't expect an answer, to be totally honest. But it's worth a try. So you have no desire to enter the radio game here? Absolutely not. Why? No. Why? Because I have a podcast I like doing, and I'm so kidding. What's... Obviously, I'm kidding. Like, yeah. they're doing a fine job. What yeah. do you want me to do? Yeah. They're fine. It's fine. If they, if they wouldn't have been awkward the first time you called in, would this be happening right now? Would what be happening right now? Ask him. I don't know what the fuck do I know. <laughs> I was sitting here. And I'm getting attacked. I mean, this is really tough to watch. Yeah. Why? Some, you know how many times I've been in situations like this in my life? I mean, I, I feel I, like this fine, is the start of a beautiful friendship. Like, I feel like this. I like the guy. It's a rocky start, but I feel like at some point you guys are going to make I like really him. great I can, content I have together. no issues with him. Yeah. I, but I think there's got to be a, a little give or take, a little pl- Maybe he's been in some awkward situations on radio in Boston and stuff like that. Maybe he can call in at some point if he's watching this, but I don't think there's anything that will rival that level of awkwardness. You know those moments? I have it. It's where I fall on my face anytime I have a microphone on, but when there's dead silence and nobody's saying anything and I feel like I have to talk, like he does feel comfortable in that moment, but... 
he might, I mean, Willie gave him literally nothing to work with. <laughs> he gave him no, he, he just sat there and said, he's like, are you going to, can you come on the show tomorrow? And Kirk's like, I'll call in. <laughs> like, <laughs> and, I, I mean, I, and I like, you know, and I like Casey trying to d- like dive in and say she's uncomfortable. It helps. You can kind of work off st- stuff like that, but I don't know. I don't know how he handles that. He definitely handles those situations better than anybody I've ever heard, but I would be, I wouldn't even say anything. I wouldn't know what to do. I would expect the host of the show to really carry that, but he, he made the whole thing. So let's die. Let's yeah. Die. Yeah. KFC has been kind of quiet in, yeah. in this whole thing. So yeah. it's just kind of like Kirk's just been kind of ranting. Yeah. Terry, uh, Terry in the comments section saying, Willie turtled. He, he clearly turtled. Uh, doing a fine job was, was a great quote that showed Kirk's genius. It certainly, certainly did. All right, let's get back in. He's a you teddy know? bear. You just got to know where to tickle. He him. seems like a very nice guy. Yeah. He seems to be a fan of mine. Yes. So what can you do? Uh, he can't stop staring at you, so he must think you're great to look there at. There is a level. It's bordering on sexual. <laughs> <laughs> the sexual tension. The stare down is just eye to eye. They're probably. Well, I'm not going to win that. <laughs> I've never been good at that. This is uh, it's exceedingly uncomfortable. Why is why? I, I don't. Uh, do you find it uncomfortable? I mean, he's, Will, Will is good. Why don't you talk? Kirk's to, good. Why, why it's just everyone else who's like, I miss, uh, our, I miss our talks. I don't, I don't know talk. what to do. I, I miss the part where, where, with the call-in. So if, if I'm one of so, the listeners so, that, I mean, for context. Totally my, so again, so I started, I signed. Yep. And Pat, uh, who I think produces, oh, yeah, he's there right he is, there. Yeah. produces the morning show as well, correct? Correct. Yes. Said, hey, why don't you call in to the morning show and say, uh, no, I'm with you on that one. <laughs> no, I said, no. Uh, I'd not, rather not know. I said, sure, no problem. I didn't know if they knew who I was or didn't know it. So I called in and you could tell they were both like, who the fuck is this guy? And I felt like an asshole for them. I've been there. Whereas I said in the AMA today, where you're like, oh, what the fuck is this guy calling for? So I, it felt awkward to me then. That's, those are two good comments right there. So one blind owl, right? He says, shock. Uh, oh, actually, no. Did I just miss it? Oh, he said he disarmed. Uh, Kirk disarmed Willie so quickly. Absolutely. And then Red mm-hmm. backs it up with, I don't think Willie could have said anything because he would have gotten angrier and Kirk would have pushed him to the edge. So I, I totally agree with those two comments. Shocker, Krabis doesn't know what happened. Willie can't talk shit like that. So, yeah, no, it's just, I think if we even, I guess that's a good point is you, I kind of blame Willie for not doing anything and making Kirk do all the work. But if Willie did do something, Kirk would have absolutely just bludgeoned him, I would assume. Yeah, it, it's, I mean, Kirk's just going to win this no yeah. matter what. Willie's yeah. just terrible at this. And then today, I felt it felt a little cold. Yeah. When you cut me, I bleed. I'm like anybody else. I'm human. Yeah. And it hurt. I hurt. So, so, so you, you lashed out. I did not lash out. I told the That's truth. That's not in his character to do. No, that. I told no. the truth. I'm not going to make those phone calls today, but they may <laughs> happen. But listen, I take I have plenty of vacation like other people here, so Willie can fill in if he wants. If I decide he can fill in, probably not. But we'll see. <laughs> Willie, do you have any thoughts on this whatsoever? The answer to that is no. Yeah. He, I mean, the microphone <laughs> is good. on the opposite side of Jared. He's not talking. Yeah, when Kirk Minahan has a microphone, Willie doesn't get the microphone. Okay, got it. Yeah. He actually, for the record, Willie declined to have a microphone. He did have one in front of his face. Yeah, I took it right from his fucking hands. <laughs> did you? Yeah, I did. Is that how we're going to interpret yeah. that one? Yeah. <laughs> I okay. Yes, I did. Yes, I okay. did. That, I did. That, there's, I mean, that's one interpretation of, of what happened. It's only 208. What's wrong with you? I get to leave. I no, think, I know. Hey, no, what's wrong? I, it's like he said, you guys aren't uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable to watch. No, I yeah, no, I mean, I mean, Willie, is it Willie, really? Willie's yeah. good I mean, to go, is and on Kirk, top of you. Kirk is, you know, his entire existence is awkward. Well, I, like I, this. I can't. I it's like the rest it's of a great move. Have. I like it. I think it's funny. I give him more credit for this than I was. I almost have to say I was wrong. I give him credit for this. It's a good move. Mm-hmm. Well, this is where Barstool thrives in that, like, it's the WWF storyline, but it's but it's not because it's serious. Well. I don't know. Maybe I'm willing. Really no, know. it's not serious. It but like you guys aren't going to be, you guys aren't going to be good friends. Yeah. I don't know that. I think, that, like I said, Did we split a drink together. It's very <laughs> awkward right share now. A drink. It's very uncomfortable. Did we share a drink together. I mean, if he's not going to, what am I supposed to do? There was, right. there I was just, a drink that was shared. Yeah. yeah. I've 100%. also seen Willie Clone pick Big Cat up and throw him around like he weighed nothing. Oh well, I don't think there's any debate about the physical. No, I know. Tape here. I think there's room for debate. Kirk, what do you, what do you run? What's the tail of tape with you? 68. <laughs> if I'm lifting, I get up to 170, maybe. Yeah. That's Willie's dick. I just put a uh, comment up there. It said Willie versus Kirk and Rough and Rowdy. I think, uh, you, you know, obviously he's got the size advantage, but anything can happen in a fight. 
You know, if you're training for it and you got the right move, like if you're, tr- if you got a right uh, game plan, you never know. One shot is all it takes. One shot. Yeah. And I mean, I mean, Kirk this past month has proven how quickly he can cut weight. So I'm oh, sure he yeah. can gain weight pretty quick too. Yeah, I mean, right there, dude. Cut weight, dealing with adversity to get rid of some of that visceral belly fat that he has going on. Absolutely. So you never know with a fight. We'll see. We'll see. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe Willie's seeing uh, some of the tags that the show's given him and maybe he'll uh, bring this back to life. But let's jump back in. I have a good core. <laughs> so that's like, Willie's dick. So it's about to be slapped on. Willie Cole has a 168-pound dick. When was the last time you were in a fight, Kirk? It's been a while. Fist fight. It's been a while. Mm-hmm. Like uh, back in the gang days. Ballpark. Mm-hmm. Lexington, Winchester, that kind of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Kirk trying to eat treats of white white boy. Yeah. Trying to survive best you can. Rubbing yeah. nickels together to make dimes. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Straight up. Willie knows that. <laughs> Really is uh, a couple OGs, really. Yeah. Just bullshitting. This is this is exciting to to see this right now. How how uncomfortable it is and how angry Willie actually is. Yeah. And fast forward to like we're probably gonna have like a voice. Christmas party like a few months from now, and you guys are probably gonna be the best of pals. I don't think I, I don't get the sense that's. Gonna I don't happen, know best of pals, but I know what you're talking <laughs> about, Jared. Respect. Where this is this is. Well, if I yeah. mutual respect, since, since he's not gonna address anything for some reason, wouldn't you say there has to be a place for sort of a hey, we're kind of kidding around here. Like it's not. Maybe it's on Barstool Breakfast. You guys could hash it out. I heard there was an opening on that show. I yes, I did. I did hear about. Yeah, yes, I did hear about that. You could do every other day. Maybe there's room for you guys to coexist. Now I don't want. I don't want to do radio anymore. Why, Kirk? Because I like doing my podcast. That's why. But it's the same thing. But but it's a little more connection to the listeners. Like it's a little more of a structure. It's a little more of what I want to do. That's all. Sounds like you're afraid. I mean, you're like the 90th person, Jared, today to ask me to do the morning show in this building. That's, I, I didn't ask you. Like, you know, I didn't ask you that. Uh, I mean, you know, I'm just saying most there's of, a fit. Most, most have begged, but I'm, I'm not going to do it. Yeah. I wouldn't, it do it my, I wouldn't do it to my friends. Because, because it's Barstool Breakfast. You want it to be like the Kirk Minahan. No, show. I just wouldn't do it That's to my friends. That's always been Kirk, Kirk, and I are Kirk, do that Kirk to I know you better than you know you. You want the Kirk Minahan show. You would never join Barstool Breakfast with Kirk Minahan. It would never be called that. have their own show. That's what I'm saying. Why would I want to do that? That I am agreeing with you. Right. I don't want to do that. Yes. Yeah, I don't want to do it. But you ideally, if there was an opening and if the, for like two or three hours of radio, the Kirk Minahan show on Sirius XM, you'd Not say, interested. no, thank you. Not interested. What if you could do it from oh, Boston? Well, oh, you thanked me. You're welcome. That's See, that's nice. Thank yeah. you. No. We, we, we got a call here. Casey, for, what for- I, I like the idea that this is the first time somebody's hearing this. It looks like Terry just confirmed that. Is this the first time you are hearing this, uh, this segment? And by the way, uh, of the Barstool radio shows, I would say CCK was the best. Would you agree with that? Did you listen to any CCK? Uh, yeah, I listened to it. I mean, I like the Yak. Yeah, that yeah, was probably yeah, a, probably yeah, is good. But I just thought like Casey, Jared, and uh, and KFC actually had like good chemistry. You know, like mm-hmm. the Yak is just so many, so many people. But but it is a good show. But it's so many people. They were actually to be a, a good, good radio show. Yeah, Terry saying the hey. first time. That's funny. That's I don't know to think about somebody experiencing this for the first time right now. It's kind of funny to me. But and you, you heard Kirk say that there's an opening on the uh, breakfast show, and he's talking about a uh, Fran- This was right after Francis Ellis got fired. That's right. That's so great. he was on that, and that th- that's what they're talking about. So I think that had a little bit to do with Willie Colon freaking out because yep. he was on Barstool P- Breakfast with them. So PGA Minahan just yeah wasn't new trivia partner Pat on Barstool Breakfast. He was he was the he was the producer of Barstool. Yes. Breakfast. CCK was a good show. Says Red some good regular callers too. I agree with that. Uh, get little sass on the pod says Sean Leary. I like little sass. I like that. I think little sass is very funny. I put that clip up there. They were talking about Kelly Martin the other day. They were obviously just fucking around with Kelly Martin, but I put that up. That show, those two guys are funny. I haven't listened too much to the full podcast that they do. Neither have I. Yeah, but any like short form social media clips that I see of those two. Uh, are fucking hysterical. So, all right. Uh, let's see. Kirk has slowly stolen everything from Willie. Uh, I don't know. Well, Willie, I think Willie, when Sirius Radio went away, he had that food show, right? So people are asking, where did he go? Uh, I think he had, he, first of all, he just had another baby. He blew up his finger during the, four, at, at the 4th of July. Like, so he, he did? For the, yeah, he set off a firework and I think it blew off his thumb or something like that. They had to reattach oh, it. Um, I would assume it's just kind of transitional. Though, when did Barstool Radio leave? Uh, I don't know. So I don't really know too much of his role within Barstool, but he's definitely still in the mix. I know uh, he did have a show with Stephen Che, didn't he? I think he did. did he, a I, yeah. Oh, he, yeah. It was like uh, it was called like Surf and Turf, I think. Something like like, and they might have rebranded it a couple times. But he's definitely still around because a lot of people are asking about that in the comments. But all right, let's jump back in. 
for doing, Kirk. Uh, Greg from Ohio, he's been waiting for a while to talk to Kirk. So, Greg, uh, what do you got? And keep in mind, I know you've been Ooh. waiting to talk to him for a while, but you also have to acknowledge the dynamic going on right also, now. Also, I saw him at lunch. Yeah, Kirk, kill you Kirk, is, Kirk, Kirk is hangry. I'll buy Willie, Willie is, you know, <laughs> on top of Kirk. So Yeah, by the way, I have to say, like, hold on, for, Greg. Yeah, hey, Shut up for one second. Yep. I, I got to yeah. say, this is like, yeah. Greg, shh. It's a little. It's. I gotta say, I'm feeling physically threatened. Where's HR? Where's the uh, sensitivity training? We don't training? have HR. <laughs> sensitivity training over here. Go ahead, Greg. Go ahead. What do you got, Greg? Well, first of all, I don't think a blind producer is the best one to have on a a morning talk show. It's reasonable. Your podcast, you can get away with it. Right. But oh, that's true too. Yeah. Kirk. So, Kirk, you're you're the first person that's ever. You didn't ban me personally. Twitter banned me because I made a joke about, "Hey, how about you drop this podcast before you go kill yourself?" Oh, that wasn't me, and Greg. It, I didn't. I didn't say anything. No, no, I know, I know, I know, I know. It was Twitter, Twitter, and it was my well, the wit on this guy, huh, Casey, yeah. just yeah. mocking my mocking my mental but, illness and suicide that, attempts. The, yeah, yeah, yeah but I, I figure I figure you like it. Oh, yeah, I didn't care, Greg. Like I don't it, care. Right? But do you have a, do you have a point? Can we arrive at the point here? Yes, yes, we can arrive at a point. The point is, Kirk, you are the best. Oh. Whether it's on air podcast okay. talent, you are the best talent that brought that has been brought to fucking Sirius XM today, and also to Barstool. Well, I mean, we're not I, talking I'm about not a from, massive I, standard here, Greg. I, no, but I'm. I'm I, I know. I know. I know. Yeah, you, you are right. You're correct. Well, but I'm just saying, things. I'm not from oh, Boston. I forget. Land right, the plane. Right. Land the plane. That was... Yeah. It's like, like my old life. F, F, he was I, nervous he to talk call, to you. Like, doesn't he, isn't this the guy we did this to yesterday? He just Land fucking, the plane. Yeah. Blah, blah, Greg. Blah, 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 blah. You guys all making fun of voicemails on Twitter yesterday. Man, live callers. They're, they're the best. Look, listen to that guy. He's just a ball of fucking fun. Land the uh, fucking plane. You ever get the thing where you get an eyelash right in your... Can you get that for me? It's so fucking annoying. Blow it, Willie. Just a little bit? Yeah, give it a little blow. Can you blow it? So when you think what, what when you leave the studio oh, six, here, a, remember that old show "Make Me Laugh." What's going to happen? Watch that? You ever see that show "Make Me Laugh"? No. Yeah, 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 try and break yeah, somebody yeah. for a minute. I kind of yeah. want to do that because I feel like I, I feel like I might. Be do able you to think get you him. could break Willie? I think I could get him. I don't know. Are you sure about that one? I well, why don't you try to find yeah, out? Yeah, no, okay. see what <laughs> happens. <laughs> Willie just did a little like a like a shrug, like like let's find out, bro. But you could feel like this love in the air now. It's good. It, it, but there's a thaw. There's yeah, a little bit of I a thaw. So. We're, we're getting there. I think so. What do you think is going to happen when you I leave the studio here? I haven't seen anything thaw. What are you seeing he's thaw? Probably gonna break, he's probably going to break my neck. Do you think I mean, he's not stopped staring uh, at you. Oh, and here goes Nardini. Hey, yeah, no, things are going great. Nardini, awesome. <laughs> uh, what, 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 yeah, are you going to uh, you're gonna just hightail it out of here? No. I don't know if I'm going to do that for. I work here. It's, you know, I'm here to do things. This is, you know, this is, I understand where he's coming from. I actually understand where he's coming from. Well, I think I would understand where he's coming from, too. But I would say. You you, you just jumped on the air and said you wanted to take his job. I didn't say that. And you said you could. Right. Two two phone calls. Right. Right. But I'm not going to. So I understand exactly where he's coming from. You should thank me for being so It's probably coming from a place of shut the fuck up. Right. But wouldn't you have a little more fun with it? Well, that's the thing here. You never know with. uh, It's funny. uh, Yeah. With. You know, you never know what's real and what's not. You never know. Yeah. I'm going to say, Kirk, this makes me sad you don't work in New York. Full time. If you're here, if you're no, here every no, day, no, 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 I think no, it's no. best for everyone that I come no, I, for a day yeah. and leave. As long, <laughs> as long as he's not going after me, it's fun to watch. I mean, he'll get to you. If if he if you were here permanently, he would get to pretty much everyone. He would just be you know what it is. Time. It's it's the gas mentality yeah. with the platform and the skills and the to, Dave Portnoy to, uh, grudge brain. grudge. Factor, too much yeah. of a yeah. You're too much of a complete too package much. for this. Too much. The, I mean, Springsteen guy. No. This is what uh, this is. This is pretty much exactly what the uh, the Mikey Fowler cousins of the world and my friends were talking about. You know, like right. hands is going to cause problems. But and- but well, let's be fair here. In this situation, who's causing the problem? Uh, well, I, mean, I would there, say there, I would I, say you are, started the problem. But there are and ways I would say to Willie then Willie is carrying the problem. the problem. Escalated the problem, which I am co- totally comfortable with. I'm glad he's doing it. I have no. But I'm saying let's not make it out like, hey, minute, you know, was I misquoted? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe, I uh, I'm pretty sure uh, the quotes uh, are uh, chuckle. Do you see the chuckle? Just a little bit. A little bit. I yeah. think that it might have been a pity chuckle. I'll take it. Okay. <laughs> do, you think, do you think if you were more evenly physically matched right now, you would be less 
uh, like smug about it because they might actually like like Willie's not. Oh, gonna I see just, fear in his eyes. Well, Willie's not going to like break you oh. in half. Oh, oh. <laughs> Willie, <laughs> right, maybe Willie leans, leans in. Or something else. <laughs> Willie opened up his eyes a little wider. Go ahead and look for him. You know, like it's almost like when Nate runs around talking a lot of shit because it's almost like he knows that Smitty's like, yeah. not going to break him in half. It's like when Drake yeah. does it at basketball. But he's also, but you know, I don't know him. You do. He's a nice guy, right? Yeah, great. Guy. So he's not going to. I mean, but I've also never crossed him. Want to risk like going to jail? I mean, you know, maybe, maybe it's worth it to pop me. I don't know. Who knows? Well, then he, there would be an opening for the show. The for his show? Yeah. Well, if he was given his jail. attitude right now, there's going to be one tomorrow anyway. Oh, <laughs> let's let's take a break. Let's Why? Let's, I, <laughs> this is an early break. Kevin. Yeah, I, I mean, it's a maybe, 15 I minute early maybe, break. Uh, yeah. Early break. Why? Uh, I, I you know like what? Okay. Going. All right. Let's just we'll just like dive into some topics of the day. Yeah, we're here. Uh, we, 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 we might we might as well we might as well just like we'll just talk about it a little bit. Yeah. What's what's popping on the blog these days? Uh, 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 <laughs> Kylie Jenner. You like you like the Kardashians, Kirk? You're a Kardashian fan. Uh, the, oh, the Kardashians. Uh, not right. No, not really. I, I you know what? I'm actually attracted to the mom though. A lot of Trista Croc yeah, in the chat. I know a lot of Trista talk because she's obviously on the on the trivia team. I don't know. Yeah. I haven't followed too much of Trista. I've just seen them mocking all of her basketball takes the last the last week, and she made a couple of videos. I mean, I can't uh, I can't make fun of anybody for making cringy videos. I do enough of that myself, so I can't uh, I can't fault her for trying to produce content. But I wonder uh, I wonder if this Willie thing could be re- like I wonder if Willie would ever want to revisit this. And I don't know if that would be good content on the show sometime is to bring Willie back on and, and reminisce a little bit. I know we're going to get into it uh, during the like the actual show portion when Kirk talks mm-hmm. about it the next day. But I remember thinking like when we were simulcasting like it was I don't know. I remember thinking large was annoying as fuck. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know why. I just remember he would always, like, interject, and he was trying to be the guy to, like, separate the two. Yep. And I, I don't know. I just remember. Whereas, like, Mike and I were just – I think Mike was in the – was Mike in there? Did he ever say anything? I can't remember. Uh, I'm not, I, wanted, I, I didn't listen to it because I wanted to react to it here. Yeah, yeah, I think Mike and I were just in there. We just obviously stayed the hell out of the way. But Large was just – I remember him talking over and, and over again. So, all right. We're, I think we're winding down the uh, CCK part here in the, yes. of the show. Because of uh, her she's looks older. or her physical power or her like her prowess and her fucking. Yeah, she's I like the older. I'm more of the older vintage. How herself. old are you? 44. 44. 44. That's 44. Right. 44. Look, 44 looks like he's 54. I don't think that's necessarily true. Oof. It's a cheap shot, isn't it? Well, we were talking earlier. He said, I look older than I look. I said, you look older than you are. And right. That's I had right. blog gears. He has uh, m- Merchison, Merchison years. years. So, yeah. Yeah. You, you know, look yeah. young in the eyes, Kirk. Thank you, Jared. It's in here. It's, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Is that really? Is that the case? Huh? Yeah. Are the, you really going to do this where you talk about other stuff right now? Yeah. Yeah, I think I think we should just kind of go through the topics of the day. Yeah. Uh, are you a Game of Thrones fan? No. Do you watch any like you, any you know series? Any a lot. Yeah, sh- I didn't think that was. I didn't think Andrew in the chat was Mayo. But then when I saw four questions in a row, it has to be Mayo. So does Dave and Justin speak? Yes, we're speaking. Is Dave's hair real? What, what the fuck question is that, Mayo? You know my hair is real, and you know I keep it on point every single day. That's who, what was the third question here? Uh, eh, whatever. There was something. Oh, or a Maury special. What does Maury have? Uh, is Maury's hair not real? Does he have? I have no idea. No. All right. Whatever. But we're uh, let's jump back in. Some. Yeah. I, I saw someone, this- someone say, like, why am I so close to the screen? It's because I'm trying to read the comments. I don't that have great. Pain, eyes. Yeah, that is a that is a pain in the ass about all this shit. I wish we, we I wish you could, like, have a separate screen. Does you, mm. you monitor the YouTube on the show on a daily basis? Does it have that feature in the back end where you can just. Uh, yeah, you, you yeah. can make a separate window of it. but. Yeah. No, so it can almost be a text line. So that's another idea I could pitch to Kirk. Voicemails, Weiner line voicemails, and a text line iPad form. So that'd be awesome. Cool. Yeah. Perfect. I just started watching this weird one on HBO. I watched the first couple of episodes of um, uh, Euphoria. Euphoria, that shit's uh, a trip. It's fucking crazy. I, I can't I, decide whether that was, whether I'm so old that I don't know what teenagers are doing. Right. And I'm that out of touch. No, no or, way. Or if the show no was just way. exaggerated. No, I mean, I have a 12-year-old. I hope not. Yeah. There's, well, that's what there's scares me. The, I watched the first episode in... One of the kids is transgendered, right? Which yeah. what's a character? Oh, hang on. We just got a phone call. Let me unmute you here. Let's see. Seven eight one. What do you got for us? Dave, what's going on, man? What's happening, my friend? Who's calling? This is uh Brian. I'm down in Tampa. Brian in Tampa. What do you got? So uh big fan of the show. Just a couple of uh things I wanted to point out here since the uh Cully Era is uh, now upon us. Okay, we're going show, not watch along show. So you're going KMS in general. Bring it. Just KMS in general. Is that okay? That's it's okay. Hit it. All right. So uh, you know, 
you mentioned a couple of times how, you know, you're not sure how people think that you're a snake and this, that, and uh, the other thing. And I, and I agree. I don't think that you're a snake, but I think what happens is sometimes you try to get the path of least resistance and you're not confrontational. So maybe you don't share all of the truth. And then in doing that, it makes it look like you're lying. And then in doing that, it makes it look like you're a snake. I think on the show. I don't think it's true. I think on the show, I might do that. But I think in real life, where that's like Kirk is pointing out things with Jerry, like behind the scenes, I haven't done anything to Jerry. And I'm never, I was never like in a rattled fighting, in a rattled state fighting back and forth with Jerry. To, you know what I mean? So, I, can't, I don't want to say you know what I mean. Um, but I, I, <laughs> and I, I wanted to say it really bad right there. But with Kirk, you're right. Like even, even a couple days ago, what was the thing I stumbled over on? Um, I guess it was two. The Kelly Martin thing. Well, the Kelly Martin thing wasn't really stumbling. I think I forgot a couple points, but I mean, I, I brought it up to be honest with Kirk. The premise was to say, like, I did this, right? Like, that's, I'm not saying that's a trait of loyalty, but it's telling him, it's keeping him in the loop of everything I'm doing, right? Like, so it's For not, sure. that wasn't like a snaky move or anything. There was something the other day that happened. And just in the moment of fighting back and f- not fighting, but just talking back well, and forth. It's like, yeah. When you think about the whole thing with Kelleher, right? Yep. You know, it's like that's sort of what, what he's, it's like he thinks that you're going behind his back and talking with Kelleher, when in reality, you're just humoring some like incel or. Well, I mean, I'm just, I'm just communicating, I'm just communicating with somebody who reaches out to me is the way I look at it for the most. I mean, think about the Kelleher episode and we'll get back to the watch along. So sorry if this bores you guys in the chat, but think about the Kelleher episode. It started out with Kirk asking me, were you guys fighting on the steps? So we were fighting on the steps outside the studio to the point where in my brain, I wanted to throw him off the fucking stairs, right? It was a legit, it was a legit like argument going on. Then we go on the show and it's kind of weird. He's kind of in show mode, which is fine. And he's having a good time. If anybody should hate Rich Kelleher, I almost think it should be me, not anybody else. Now, I don't really know anything. I didn't really remember all the fucking sticker shit and the background stuff. But like that, if anybody shouldn't have been talking to him post that episode, I would think I would have been the guy most likely never to talk to that to him again. You know, and, right. and I still talk to him to this day. So I don't care. I just want to get I'll just get back to people. You know, if you text me or you DM me, I'm going to get back to you. So. So, yeah, I hope I hope people don't think I'm a snake because I'm, you know, I don't know, just stumbling over my words or some shit. Yeah, Dave, uh, if I just go in here. Yep. Hold on. Justin's got to take. Yep. Uh, I, I would think if anyone think if anyone thinks that you like lie and that's why you're a snake. I just I, I never got the impression that you're a liar. If anything, you're too truthful. Like you'll just randomly spout out the truth. You'll be like, "Hey, this is what I did the other day." Yeah. Like, so I, 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 I don't get that ever that you're like holding back information. If anything, you put forth more information than you should. No, I almost wish I did hold it back and saved it. Like, remember when you were saying, "Oh, you, you knew Kirk was going to act like that, so you put it out there." I didn't do that because I thought all of a sudden Kirk was going to go on this viral rant and rip me to mm-hmm. fucking shreds. I did it because it was just on my brain to end the show when he says kind of like anything to talk about or anything to promote, it just kind of came out. So, mm-hmm. it, you know, so what else, anything else caller before we get back into it? That'll do it. All right, Long Bob. live Dave. I appreciate, I appreciate it. And thank you for the call. I like them. I like uh, mixing it up with the calls, Justin. That's uh, that adds to the show. I like it. All right, let's get back in. Transgender one. You remember or no, we were talking about it before. You're the biggest. You stop it. You love you. All right, fine. We'll talk about it during the break. He's always talking about euphoria, texting me shit about it. So <laughs> one of the uh, you 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 know you do. So what? So one of the uh, so one of the, there's a transgender character. Yes, yeah. It was she a big reveal at the end of this, episode one. She goes to this spoiler older alert. guys like motel. Mm-hmm. Like fucks the shit out of her. I know like, it's very she's a massive guy. Well, she's the well, actress is of age, but the character well, in right, high school. Yeah, right. All of it is like hardcore sex scenes. This girl it's obviously alarming. like getting, yeah, like getting fucked. It's crazy. And it, it like, is crazy. he like is very graphic. All of it makes me very uncomfortable. And though. the guy is not high school. The guy no, is the like guy's a dad. Like a, the guy's like a jacked guy in like his 40s. Yeah. Yuck. He doesn't know at the time that it's a high school. Jared, I'm guessing he's not watching this guy. I don't there watch There we TV. go. I kind of want to. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to turn this down a little bit from, uh, while CCK is just playing in the background. And we'll just see. Can you hear us, caller 978? Uh, you bet I can. There we go. What's going on, 978? What's your name? Where are you calling? How are you guys? How are you? Where are you calling from? 
I am calling from Danvers. I'm actually about to head into work pretty soon. There we go. See, that's what we're trying to do. A little, we're trying to do a little drive time here. Hey, I'm somewhat new to the Minahan universe. I just caught the tail end of Steve Robinson. Yep. Okay. Yep. Dave, I like you, man. You're doing a great job. All right. And I love Justin too. I like you guys a lot. Oh, this is this is positivity. We don't. We, I, I haven't gotten this a lot no, in, a, in a while. I I appreciate this right now. You know, I, I, like I said, I'm new to this universe. I don't think I'm a huge asshole like Mena fans are painted out to be. I just really enjoy hearing fucking Kirk go off on people. No, they but, just, uh, Mena fans aren't assholes. They just like to get, I think, I think Robinson, what was his line, Justin? Like they like to get their belly rubbed every now and then, you know, yeah. a voice message that has been on a website for fucking two months, basically, that Kirk said yes to, has been there the entire fucking time, and yep. somebody wants to say that I'm creating the wine, I'm ripping off the wine line. Okay, he's gonna pet your belly and tell me to go fuck myself, and my DMs are gonna be a fucking dumpster fire, and I can have fun with them. That's all that matters. The Minifans fans are, are totally fine. They just like the fuck around. That's all. That's amazing. I have one more thing, and then yeah. I'll let you two go. Yes. Are any of you interested in playing golf this Saturday at 136 in Georgetown, Massachusetts? I, I wish I could go, and I am interested in playing golf at that time, but unfortunately, I will be at a family party. Justin, I don't think you golf. Do you golf? I do not golf. Well, let's just, you know, because I got Justin golf. I don't think he golfs. No, but by the way, don't hold back on the golf invitations. I'm, uh, I'm always available to escape the kids that play golf. It's just if I can, uh, so I I'm appreciate it. Hey, hey, I'm serious. I'll, um, I'll DM you on uh twitter dm we'll, we'll me and if you're gonna say nice things like this i will talk to you all goddamn day i yeah, appreciate it i'm not an ass i'm not an ass i know i know you guys work hard you I sound like you sound like, like the greatest guys, minifan so. you might be the new greatest minifan all right i'm muting you oh, thanks God, for the call God. bud all right see ya. Bye. Goodbye. goodbye all right we're back that guy was a fucking asshole huh no greatest guy Best guy to talk to. Dragons. Not into that. dragon guy. It's not, but that's that's <laughs> the common. No? That's no. the common. You know, I don't like dragons. I don't like fantasy. But it went so much deeper than that. And then in the final season, they just shit. they abandoned all the deeper shit. Yeah. And they just it became like a fucking action, action show movie. It was it was an atrocity. So to go, what to is go this? Just calls like left and right. I don't know. Let's listen. Once they get started. So seven two four. I think I see what's going on. Seven two four. What's up, boys? Josh from Pittsburgh. How's it going? Josh, you were you w w listening along? Is it okay to play the uh, audio a little bit underneath us so we can just get past the CCK that's, stuff? Is that all right? That's fine. All right, that's fine. What do you got? Uh, I just wanted to call, talk to Justin. I just wanted to say, when Justin first started on the show, um, you know, I wasn't a huge fan. And, and just, just recently, since Steve Robinson's been gone, I'm a huge Justin guy. I obviously like you too, call a name, but... I just wanted to to kind of applaud Justin a little bit, say I love him, his involvement in the show, and just kind of see how he, how's he feeling with the show now. Like, how does he feel? Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, I I love working for the show. I do anything for this for this show. Uh, I, I I appreciate it. I I, I think uh, I'm trying. So no, you're Thank doing you a great Pittsburgh. job, Justin. But as a converted just a fan, just want to say great job. What a classy, a couple of classy. Well, thank you for the call. I appreciate it. Justin appreciates what a classy day we got here going, Justin. Yeah, he was kind of an asshole, too. <laughs> you, you and these, uh, you and these, like, well, maybe I don't trust anybody, even if they're nice to me. Mentality. It's just, all right, I may not be able to, even with all my guts, I might not be able to overcome. It would be like the, the mountain versus the viper, really. You'd have yeah, to dance be. around it, right? Yeah. yeah, if we go 15, maybe I have a chance, but I feel like if I got caught with one. I give him credit. Speaking you know. of getting caught, there was this dude uh, in Colombia. No, he okay. got arrested for hiding cocaine in his toupee, which a, as a bald fella, I think maybe you could. Uh, he hid uh, 40 Money ball for choice. Yeah, 40. Well, I mean, even if you want to grow yeah, it out, the, the hairline would not be strong. Not good. Not good. Nothing Without else happens on the CCK portion, right? Can I just fast forward and see if I hit uh, it? A little, yeah, like they're like, oh, this is so awkward. Ha ha. Well. Pick this up. Some it other picks time. back up in a second. Do you think that no, it, they just kind of talk a little uh, bit I'm more. I'm gonna fast like, forward. I did this with Moroso too, so hang on. Before they before they go on a break, they kind of just say like, ha ha ha. You open to that? Ashford has really? got pipes. So seals and Croft. Simon the Garfield. I think that Zaz getting it. Oh. I would love Johnson and Johnson. <laughs> oh. Forget it. Don't worry. We'll do it later. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Put put the pause on it. So it's okay. I don't think Willie's in the mood. 
<laughs> how about you trying to do I this think, cocaine story? I, I, I'm literally running, just <laughs> running through the blog. How what's what's going on Ken, in Columbia? Ken, Kendall Jenner was uh she's on a oh, yacht. We're back, we're with, back with uh, them. Okay. Kendall Jenner's on a yacht with Ben Simmons. Well, or no, who who's no. she with these days? I don't even Kyle fucking Kuzma. know. She's really just running through the NBA like everyone else, huh? And I guess she's that's a, unbelievable. I don't know. I don't know much about them, but from what I understand from the blog, they just she's not happy about people accusing her of running through the NBA. I mean, every time if you're on a yacht with a guy, is it fair to say if OJ did assumption? not kill those people that the Kardashians would never show? Yes, right. Probably fair. If OJ fair? blew a flat tire going to the you think? house that night, yes. why? why? Well, Kardashian was part of the right. Legal like, team. I don't. Yeah. I don't think is that's that why people knew. To... Is that why people knew the name at first, though? Is that, I think that's so. the entrance for into sure. the. Yeah, for yeah. sure. What else were they famous for before that? Kim got in with Paris Hilton. I mean, I don't, was, I don't think anyone's watching Kim K happen. because her father was. But, that was, no, but, was, that. Was that, but I'm saying, was that her entrance into the world of whatever? No, I don't think so. When were when were Kim and Paris friends? Like when they become friends? I never knew that. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, that, that's how she got like plugged into like the socialite scene. Yeah, she I know, but I think they got plugged in the socialite scene because Her Rob Kardashian was, was yeah. O.J. Simpson's lawyer. Right. Mm, I don't think. We're fast forward. The car. The car. Who's, we're not pretending. We're we actually having this conversation questions. right now. Like I mean, this, this whole thing seems odd. It seems yeah. like <laughs> I, I think it's all very compelling. What's your take? I mean, first of all, what do you think of F. Lee Bailey's work? Thank you. Thank you very that's much. That's what Lars said. Lars so, here we go. Hold on. What's it just up, cut off there. Hold on. I think um, there we go. It's, it's going to end in two seconds. All right. So the, the only I think just so if you're just joining us here, by the way, we got a phone line up. If you see it and you want to call in, we're just going to get into the segment with uh, with Kirk and Willie the next day. So the follow up to what we just listened to CCK. So we'll tune hello, in right now. Hello. Hello. Good morning. How are you doing? How's everything? How's the podcast? How are you doing this morning? The podcast is doing very well, thank you. Thank you very That's much. That's what Lars said. Lars so, said you, your number's out the roof. Number one in the country. He, he, Lars is a big fan of yours. I mean, <laughs> I, I, it's not my understanding, but I met Lars yesterday briefly. Couldn't have been nicer. We talked about the uh, AMA. Could not have been a nicer guy. Right. That's what it sounds like. So yesterday, you got to run in your mouth on our, our Big Cat show. Yes. Um, about how you could, you know, you think I hate you. You can, t- you can end this show in a matter of a... Uh, two phone calls, mm-hmm. um, big big flex by a guy who I've never heard about. Right. So, so me if I just step back and uh, just don't give a fuck about what you said. Sir, sure, sure. I understand. Of course, you sat a foot away yeah. from me and cared very much. It's not dissimilar in any way, <laughs> actually, in a lot of ways. So we played that cousin sound this morning. You did the same exact thing. Of course, I was kidding, kind of playing around. You weren't, so I'm not really sure why you're so fucking sensitive about it. It's kind of disappointing. I well, know you were. I didn't. I didn't just. I just didn't know you were. I just it. didn't. I just you know, didn't know you were a thin skin. I just didn't know you were a thin skin pussy. You, that's you all. You get to meet him. You shake your hand. You're mad because I didn't say hello. That's I was, how this I was, I was, I was, I was joking. It's a joke. My morning. It's a fucking joke, right, Willie. It's a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke. Is, Kirk, you got. You tell you're a little guy who's been beat up all his life. You got fucking daddy issues. You're a you, middle aged man with daddy issues. He's right about that. Is this is this is this, is this what you're is, is this is this is this is this the play is this the play that you're doing, Willie? Is this the play that you're doing, like the big guy versus the small guy play? Nobody knows your fucking name. Great. So my point is, like, gentlemen, if you're gonna open your mouth, come up to me. I'm visible, obviously, right? No, I don't. I don't know. I Willie, I've Willie, I've never. So you talk about remember, you know, we we talk about on the show now, like. Dave in a stepping stool to bar stool, right? Like this was a moment for Dave Cullinane in the studio. There was that awkward tension, right? When mm-hmm. I wanted to be in radio or media growing up because I got the fucking bug for it, I didn't dream of producing financial fucking infomercials for the rest of my life, basically. <laughs> this was one of the moments where it was like, okay, like if this could be fucking, this is what I wanted to do, shit like this. So for me, just to provide a random little con, I don't say a word during this, just get the fuck out of the way and i don't even remember mm-hmm. and and to be honest with you it probably was like episode seven and i re- of, of that three week you know where i was in for steve yep. probably episode seven uh and i'd probably already gotten more laughs in the first show that i got in my entire fucking career working in radio that was not notable whatsoever but you talk about st- st- i don't know i'm just trying to tie that back in to provide some context but this was that like show, that, that was show like, you were on in the morning seemed like you got a lot of laughs when you're oh, dropping the coffee everywhere Oh, God, that's right. I forgot. We didn't even actually. I didn't. I don't think we played that actual video. Not that you need it or the music, but no. And that was that was a totally different show. And I took that. Yeah. But I took that because, like, I when I got my first radio stuff, I got kind of like trapped into the financial infomercial radio world. 
And I just took that because I wanted to get into at least content, right? Like like mm-hmm. actual day-to-day news-related content and shit like that. So, of course, and then you take that back to radio.com where the Kirk opportunity was. So I'm not trying to defend myself. You can think whatever the fuck you want to think, but I'm just trying to provide context that that three weeks was like, Jesus Christ, it was fucking... Uh, <laughs> In my eyes, it was fucking the until to this day, it was the best three weeks of content that I've ever been a part of. So, all right, let's get back into it. Willie, I've never heard Willie, I've never heard Willie. I'm sorry, I've never heard anybody until yesterday discuss your fucking show in my life, and I don't even care. It doesn't matter to me. Hold on, Willie. Willie, I do listen to Barstool. No one's ever tweeting me about it. It's it's, but Willie, it's it's an irrelevant show. It's fine, but you. You come in there and you do your no, thing. Sir, I've dealt, hold, hold on, Willie, 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 whatever. Talk, great, I, great, I, I, awesome. Gonna work out if awesome. We talk over each other. Well, then, well, then, I'm gonna go, I'm well, gonna then go shut the I fuck up, Willie. Yeah. I mean, you had a chance yesterday and you sat there like a pussy. So either I, fucking, I either, like either fucking, you, either, you either shut your fucking mouth and let me talk or hang up. It's pretty simple. I'm not going to shut my fucking mouth. You can suck my dick, you're a fucking weasel. I, I sat, I sat, where was this yesterday? I sat, I sat, I sat a foot away from you yesterday, tough guy. I sat a fucking foot away from you yesterday, tough guy. You had your, you had your, you had your, you had your fucking. You, 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 so they go ahead. So go ahead. I'm, fine. I'm a chef. Go fine. Ahead. Fine. fine. Whether you're right, I did a show in Boston. So you're right. Nobody in the rest of the country knows who I am. I'm not sure what that has to do with anything. So I went in there yesterday on Big Cat Show. I had done the thing where, and, I, and as I said this yesterday, by the way, I, call, I said this, I put you guys in an awkward spot. I apologized for you yesterday. The first show, you didn't know who I was, so I called in. It was weird. Totally, like, I totally understand that on your part. Yesterday, you don't say hi, and I thought it was kind of funny. Like, I didn't really care. I did say hi. That's oh, okay, okay, but, okay, but, Willie, okay, okay, but even, okay, but either way, like, it doesn't, I thought it was sort of funny either way, so I went on with Dan yesterday and kind of, like, made a joke. Like, you have a morning show. I used to host a morning show. It was, like, nobody thinks that I'm going to make two phone calls and have your job. It's a joke. I was kidding. I paid to kid around. I'm not paid to sit there and talk about who won the game last night. It's a joke. If you well, well, keep up, if you had the ability to keep up with that, you would have understood instead of going in there yesterday and doing this weird thing where like you're sitting next to me, you think I was, that was so weird too. Terrible radio. We think awful radio, not no surprise Terrible given radio. your fucking instincts. So you sit Terrible. there next to me and like, it's just bizarre. I mean, I, I don't know. You, uh, I, you know, you, 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 I'm sure the show was fine. Good luck. I mean, I, I don't know what you want me to say. So this worked out well. Um, He's saying you know, nothing again. Uh, Classic Willie Cologne. What are you guys Willie, Willie Cologne <laughs> silent trick. Classic <laughs> Willie Cologne. <laughs> Cologne. Like, what are you what? talking about? Is more than, I thought I was just talking about Yeah, Kirk. Mike, shut up. Right. Shut up. Mike. Go ahead, Will. <laughs> yeah, my, my sidekick's <laughs> trying to trying to fucking talk. He's, you're right. Tell him to shut up. Will. Oh, you're no. Right. It's, it's just me and Kurt right now. Correct. All your other cronies, we're not doing that. You're right. I'm, I'm with um, you. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, just me and Kurt. Kurt, yeah. Listen, once again, I don't hate you. I don't even know how that shit started. I don't care. I only took Humbers because as you are. You take pride in your brand. Humbridge. I take pride in my brand. <laughs> I know you. And I, once again, meeting you takes two men to meet each other. Me giving you a, a cold wave. It's just me. I, you can act large. I'm just not a fucking morning person. That's just about There's not large <laughs> yeah, but, and Patty walked in. I say okay. nothing. Just not a morning person that's hosting, hosting morning radio. <laughs> and, uh, um, I, I do find it interesting that, I mean, did you hear Willie Colon before he came to Barstool? Like I know he was in the NFL, but I didn't really like know of him. No, I didn't hear any of his. I didn't hear any of his content. I I always got the vibe that Willie was kind of like he he joined up with Barstool when it was like uh, starting that trajectory of going yep. bigger, 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 and it was kind of like okay, can we grab an athlete? And I'm not trying to demean that in any way. I just felt like he was a professional athlete that, and I know Wit was already involved, but it's you know in terms of like building building the workforce, I guess you could almost say. But I just figured. It was an athlete that was interacting with Barstool and that they could give an opportunity and it could kind of maybe start a path to get other athletes involved with Barstool on the content or merch side. I don't know. I'd never I'd never heard of him. Definitely on the content side. Definitely not. That was a great moment by Mike, by the way, interrupting. That was fantastic. Yeah. All right, let's get back into it. The nobody. Okay. So but- for me to walk into you or to kind of, I felt like you had this aura, like everybody was supposed to bow down. And I was like, the, what, I don't know you. Uh, well, 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 large, <laughs> large. You, uh, we talked yesterday. By the way, I think Kirk would hate fucking doing serious because they don't, I don't believe they give ratings. Like, well, I don't he did for a little bit. He did it. No, but as like a, Hey, Barstool, Barstool wanted to just put the show on serious. But like, if he was on every morning, he would care about who he's in competition with. And I do not believe that, uh, Sirius really gives people that information. The no, I don't one, think they do. The only one who probably has some data is, is Howard. But even at that point, it doesn't fucking matter. They just re-sign Howard because 
They know that the Howard. stock price is going to pump. You know, you know what I mean. It's going to go up every time that news comes out involving Howard. So, yeah, I, I think he would hate it because it doesn't feel like there's any competition. He always needs something. I don't know. I get the vibe that he needs something like that to drive him. So, All right, let's get back in here. I think we have about. Actually, we only got four minutes left. So you got four minutes. If you want to call in, 617-752-1587. It's on the screen. Uh, nice calls only. That's the rule today, Justin. Two for me, one for you. That fair? We should probably even it out. Maybe we need a nice call for you. Sure. All right. Good chemistry. There it is. We certainly did. Did you get that aura from me? Like when we talked that I was, I thought people, well, I, I sat there, my, well, I, I sat there at Kevin Clancy's brother's desk with my head down. I didn't want to bother anybody. Yeah. Still a little bit of an aura though. Really? I, 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 I will say that that was, I was trying to give off the exact opposite. I was trying to stay out of everybody's fucking way. People have things to do. All you got to do is all it took no. was a handshake, Kirk. There was, there was, there was a little bit of aura with me. No, I, Kirk, I, I come over and said hello to you just because I know you're going through the same thing with the AMA. Yeah, you were, it was up. really it was, nice. It was yeah, very, I appreciate uh, it. It's very social and cordial and stuff like that. Yeah, like, I, I just think that uh, sometimes, uh, you know, just heightened sensitivities, especially with this show, because this show is kind of tight. Me and Willie are a family. Great. We just recently lost a family member. Remember, uh, due to an inappropriate uh, blog about a girl who wanted to be, I had a little far. <laughs> we just yep. recently lost a family member. It's like, okay, listen, I'm uh, fucking talking now. By the way, oh, right? oh. No. yeah, muted Mike. I remember that moment. Like, I, I think my head was down, checking the phone line or whatever. And I remember him just going, "I'm fucking talking now." <laughs> like, yep. He's being cordial. I mean, he's obviously insane with his. We just lost his family member talk, but yeah, that's that's a little that's a little far. Insane, but just all of a sudden is I'm fucking talking. <laughs> it's just like out of, out of the blue. So hold on, let's see. Let's go through some of these comments. Uh, Red's making fun of the family member. Large is so arrogant. I don't think he's arrogant. I think during this, it just kind of came off weird. I'm pretty sure the direction this conversation went was the fun that Kirk orchestrated. I would agree with that and i guess that's it i've missed some other comments but all right four more minutes if you want to get a call in who else is fucking talking but me go ahead ahead. there's a little bit of a heightened sensitivity around this and so maybe the heightened sensitivity had gotten okay well you sound like you can go now i mean that's i mean i I don't know what to say like because (laughs) because francis tweeted something out or plugged the story i'm not supposed to i'm not supposed i'm not supposed to joke around with big cat like when they ask me, am I supposed to say, "Oh, it's a great, it's it's a joke, like it's it's joking around"? Like you guys, I don't yeah. trust me. I tell you, first of all, it wouldn't matter. You you guys, I'm sure you're doing fine. I'm sure your, your buzz is great. Like Willie said, nobody knows who I am. Fine, I don't like that stuff. Doesn't matter to me. But like the idea that you're really going to get actually upset about this is really troubling. No, what, like what I was yeah, upset. Uh, uh, I'm gonna uh, tell you what I was upset sure, about. Sure, of course you can. Go ahead. Yeah. So what I was upset about was. Wasn't there so much like obviously you're right the whole you snapping the two fingers that was bullshit I called that, <laughs> but it was just there was this arrogance about you that even when I first talked to you, you like I don't have I didn't know who you were I wasn't about territory it was just mostly about the fact that I just didn't know who the fuck you were and then to have somebody run their mouth and say I hate you and all this stuff and I'm sitting there just like and yeah, sure you call it a joke fine will it will it, you t- I'll take I'll take your word for it that's all I can do but I think that sometimes especially when you work at Barstool man. And it's because we live in a culture, and I, and, I, and I knew this, signing up to Barstool. Well, somebody mentions your name, and they ring the bell, and they talk about what you're trying to do and what you're trying to build, and you kind of go at it a little bit. Valley, it's a joke to you. Some for me is because we are the new kids on the block. I'm always going to step out in, on the street and scrap. That's just who I am. I don't back down. I have no idea what he's saying here. Uh, he's just trying to make it seem like he's he's a right there family, Justin. They're a family all there. He, each morning, the family gets together and they're trying to build some bigger picture. I don't I don't even know. I don't even know what you build. If like we just going back to, if you get no numbers from Sirius XM, you're just judging like what by how much fun you have, by you know how much I mean? social interaction you have, which was zero for Barstool Breakfast. I mean, they did okay because and Deke Zucker was fucking phenomenal with Barstool Radio and keeping tabs on what the, what was said and stuff like that i don't know how many wars they potentially started i don't think that was their goal i don't think they thought going into gentlemen's fridays that they would fucking do something crazy but i I, I don't know to me like what kirk did in the past every morning in boston radio you're fighting against competition left and right you're fighting against the sports hub you're fighting against kiss not kiss but all these other all these other stations on serious xm you just show up and have a fucking good time and you don't have anything to judge but you know what i mean like there's no Hmm. Uh, I don't know. Whatever. Let's finish it up. 
I mean, you didn't do and shit that's yet. how I you feel didn't... about Barstool, and that's how I feel about Barstool Breakfast. Well, I'm you... more of a back down guy. Like I, I think I can take it for what it's worth, street worth. And I know Danny loves to to generate smoke, especially on the show. So you kind of get pushed into you know saying answers, and we have a you know we have a way that we need to be funny. So I get it. It's just all it's all just a big joke, yeah. right? I mean, we're we're trying to fabricate something just for a couple of clicks, but I'm not trying to fabricate um, anything. Gonna I hit was, anybody, I right? Was, I was, I'm not going to get hit. I was, I, no, I'm not trying to get sued. I'm okay, trying to I'm fabricate. Really I, I, no, I'm trying to fabricate anything. I, I was, I was, I was kidding around, but Willie, you can't, you can't say that. You can't say that. Um, you were, you know, you're a street guy and you're a fighter. Then you sat there, didn't say anything yesterday. Then you can't say. Well, I didn't say anything. Well, I, don't, I wanted I, all the content to be on my okay, show. Okay, fine. Congratulations. And I wanted to just so, stare at well, you. Okay, and great. Then, so here you are calling on my show. That was the purpose. Of right. And it's also being. Give, it's also I didn't being. Want to give you the content. It's also being simulcast. Yeah, yeah, you got to play chess. Sometimes. Also being simulcast on our podcast. Hey, hey, let me which say Which, which, what we just You just, I mean, what are we? Are we talking or not? I mean, fine. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, I was trying to clear some up with you because I was just. I got to make some clear. Kurt did ask to talk outside the studio. He did. He was like, Willie, we can go talk outside. I didn't want to talk outside because I didn't want stool scenes to get it. I didn't want anybody. Right. And, and, then he, and then he went upstairs and he was like, hey, do you want to talk again? And I was like, no, because Punk Punk was doing a video. No, I wanted it on Bar Super. So Fine. that was the that was the goal. And my point was, my uh, point was, and again, I guess I'm the super arrogant guy. I don't know. All right. That's the end of it. So that's where it cuts off. So I think they just wind it down right there, Justin, anyway. Mm -hmm. but all right, that was that's definitely a memorable moment. I think I forget the guy's name. I think oh Terry, there he is. Terry, if that was your first time hearing that, uh, that's got to be interesting for you if you're new to the to the Mita fan world. By the way, like you didn't want stool scenes to see it. Literally one of the most insane, popular, insane, popular, insane. popular products that Barstool has. That I don't know the whole mentality of like I'm going to save it for Sirius XM when Barstool. I got into Barstool because it was a world that lived on 24-7, helped by, like I referenced, Deke Zucker and all these different things. Like To think that you have to save it for the next morning, as if you can't find a way to bring new life to that same thing mm. the next morning. It's just, I don't know. So that was, uh, where does that rank in terms of your kind of uh, mini fandom, I guess you could call it, Justin, in, in terms of highlights? Like All-time segments? Yeah, uh, all-time. That's pretty doesn't. uncomfortable. Like, that is... Yeah, that's pretty intense. It was definitely uncomfortable. I, I guess I'd put it in with like the 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 Kirk kills category, but I, I I mean it's not up there with like Ellie Schnitt, K Marco. Uh, a couple months after this in in uh, in Florida, they were they were grabbing uh, ice cream together, and you know I don't know if you've seen that picture of them, you know, hanging out, but. Yeah, I don't know if this cracks. I mean, it's definitely very entertaining. Yeah. There's just so many other moments Top fights. Oh, for sure. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Well, the, yeah. I mean, a lot of people in the comments said literally they haven't seen Willie Colon basically since this whole thing. So I don't know. It's not exactly the K Marco level who has legitimately disappeared, mm -hmm. uh, but it was good. So, oh, OJ's lawyer. That's right. OJ's lawyer. I was looking up um, actually the other day and just because I got in the habit of like, because it was the same timing as the three weeks I was in, I was kind of seeing what happened on this day when I was in. And it was the day that OJ's lawyer came in. So I looked to see if he had tweeted anything fucking insane. And maybe we could try to find a way to get him back on and, and go at him again or whatever. But he hasn't done anything. He just, you know, yeah. responds to reporters and calls them fucking assholes on Twitter and nothing really. So I don't know. I rank it up. Obviously, I was in the room. So I rank it pretty high on, uh, on my list. But thank you. We'll wind it down there. Thank you to everybody who joined, who chatted, who called great calls. Maybe the best calls. Calls have been lacking to some extent on KMS, but on KMS Watch Along, I'm going to put them at the top of the charts right there. Those were three amazing calls, so I appreciate it. The uh, calls have been good recently on the show. They have been good. They have been good. Uh, to give a little um, a teaser, I think Menners has the uh, the Australian Minifan show tonight. What time are we going to do that? Eight or nine? When do, when do we want to do that? Eight. Eight's fine. All right, let's do 8 o'clock on the Kirk Minahan Network channel. So go subscribe to the Kirk Minahan Network. Always, I'll, I'll remind you guys, go to watchkms.com. If you're on desktop, it's going to take you to, to uh, the YouTube channel where you can auto-subscribe. Basically, if you're on mobile, hit the subscribe button, hit the notifications. You'll get alerted every time we go live. I think that's all the plugs I got. You got anything, Justin? No. All right. All right, we're out of here. Appreciate you guys joining us, and we will talk to you tomorrow on KMS with Ryan Whitney in studio. Thanks,